Welcome survivors. Hope everyone's having a good day. Today we're going to set up Enshrouded Dedicated Server real fast using Windows GSM. If you haven't installed Windows GSM, then you'll want to do that first. There's a link, be a link in the description taking you to a page that shows you exactly how to do that. Also on my channel, there's another video, but it installs just like any other program installs. So once you have Windows GSM installed, you're going to want to go to the link in the description that takes you to the Enshrouded Manager page. You have a plugin link. You'll go over to Code, and you'll download the zip. And that's the same file. Well, let's see. He's updated this a couple of times already. Do not unzip the file. Just leave it zipped. Download it. Leave it zipped. Then you go over to Windows GSM. You'll go down to the little puzzle piece. You'll come over to the side. You'll import plugin. You'll select the downloaded file, still zipped, and you'll hit open. After you hit open, you'll see in this list the enshrouded plugin. That means you did it. Now you'll go over to servers, install game server. So you have to select it from the list here. So, enshrouded dedicated server. The plugin adds it to this install list. So then you'll click it, name it, and install. After, you, after it downloads all the files, it's going to show up in your list here. A couple of things to note on this. I don't know if it's the plugin or if it's enshrouded itself, but I tried to change the query ports and the server ports, it did not, it would not register through Steam anymore. So leave it on the default ports and you'll have to open the ports up in your router and all of that is on the web page. But the, as far as the setup goes, that's it. There's very few command lines. This Server start parameter, you can ignore that. Uh, that's not actually working. To edit the information, you'll want to go to server files and edit the JSON with Note++. You'll have the name, the password, and again, do not change the ports. Just the name and the password. And once you do that, you'll run the server. And it likely, right now, if you're doing this early in the process, may not show up in the list. This appears to be some kind of Steam issue, is what the developer's saying. So when you're, once your server's up and running, leave it running for a couple of minutes. And then you can check and see if it's showing up on the... Steam server page. Using this tool. This is the Steam query tool. So what you'll you'll see this and you'll have to copy that and paste it in here and search the IP and it'll say if it can find your server or not registered with Steam. That should do it, my friends. Go enjoy that enshrouded building.